Hello. I've just finished trimming, doing some topiary on these two box bushes behind me. And these are all the trimmings. And you can watch the vlog I made about the topiary because I put it on the end card. But for now, I want to try and do some box cuttings. After all, what have I got to lose? But at the same time, I'm going to try an experiment because I haven't got any hormone rooting powder. And I'm sure I saw somewhere that you can use cider vinegar and I don't have any cider vinegar and in fact this is white wine vinegar but apparently if you use vinegar in a dilute solution and soak your cuttings and wash them over before planting them out they'll root better so I'm going to do three with three without the first thing let's fill these pots And as this is just an experiment, I'm not going to use too much compost because it might not work. I suppose if it doesn't work, I can always reuse the compost because it will not have been spent. And if I count them and do it scientifically, I'll be able to work out a success rate. six pots half full of compost. Now, I'm just going to get some water so that I can do my dilute solution in order to make it a proper experiment. I'm going to give both sets of cuttings almost the same treatment. The only difference being one will be exposed to white wine vinegar before they get planted out. And I'm looking at this compost it is a little dry, so I shall pop them to one side and go and get my hose pipe. So now we've got pots, three quarters full of compost. I've wet the top of it and let that soak in whilst we prepare some cuttings. Water without anything in it. Splash. I feel like Ainsley Harriet. I'm going to go for single stem cuttings and I'm going to remove three or four leaves from the bottom but leave three or four at the top and that will hopefully give the roots somewhere to grow out of in the compost. I'm also going to try and find the greenest shoots possible so that I'm not trying to get woody growth to root. Leaves, stalk, leaves removed, plunge. Come back in five minutes when I've done about 40. So let me show you how I'm taking these cuttings and I'm applying the same principle to them all. I'm taking a piece about three inches long, I'm ripping the leaves off the bottom third, I'm putting a diagonal cut, theory being a diagonal cut has a bigger surface area, then plunging it into the water. This is the solution with the cider vinegar in it, white wine vinegar. So, find a nice long stalk, rip the bottom third, diagonal cut, plunge. Find a nice long stalk, leaves off the bottom third, diagonal cut, plunge. And I've no idea why I think that cider vinegar or white wine vinegar helps cuttings to root, other than, I think I saw it on a vlog, we will test the theory. So, I've got a bowl full of white wine vinegar cuttings here. I'm now going to plant them in three of these pots. All I'm going to do is stick them in. One, 
to possibly too much vegetation on that one we'll remove that three four let's go for six in each five six six five six I can actually smell the white wine vinegar on them so it's definitely present one six so there I have 18 Lots a few spares here, which would be a shame to waste them, so I might come back to them and do another little pot full. But for now, let's get 18 in. They don't have cider vinegar on them. I keep saying cider. I mean white wine vinegar. Find a nice long piece. Rip off the bottom third. Make a diagonal cut. Plunge. Nice long piece, rip off the bottom third, diagonal cut, plunge. I've not been counting them, so let's get them in the soil. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Now you would pay 99p for a little box plant in B&Q, so we could have 36 quid here if they all take. I suspect they won't. Of course, if they all do, I should wish I had done 100. But there's always next year. So, three on that side, 18 cuttings, no white wine vinegar. Three on that side, 18 cuttings with white wine vinegar. In order that I do not get them mixed up, I will find three random twigs I shall put the twigs in the three that have got the white wine vinegar and this is on tape so that will be a reminder for me I'm going to give these a final water just to make sure that the twigs, the cuttings, are in contact with wet compost. But I'm not going to overdo it because the humidity in this box will be quite high because it's away from the breeze and there is moisture in there. I'm going to put them in not a bright sunny place, probably a light cool place, but not too cool because I don't want them to be going dormant and we will keep a track on them. I will try my best to resist the temptation to keep disturbing them. I'll probably just keep them moist with this lid half on and half off to let some ventilation in at the corners. Please do subscribe, come back and have a look and we'll see how this experiment has turned out. And I'll see you soon.